Good job. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. We have done our warm-up. Now we go to our objectives. Who remembers what objective means? We talk about that word sometimes. We talk about the objectives every day. Do you remember what objective means? You need help? Okay. No, that's an adjective. An adjective describes a noun. It's a goal. Excellent. A goal. Something that you want. So here, the goal is to hit the dart in the middle of the board. So we have two different goals. We have our content goal and our language goal. Do you remember the difference between content and language? It is not easy, but every day you see our content goal and our language goal. Our content goal is what you learn in class. You learn about planets, you learn about Native Americans, you learn about history, you learn about the United States of America, you learn about continents, right? And you know many vocabulary, many new words. But then the language goal is your English goal, putting it all together, right? Now do you remember? Okay. So our objectives, will you read them with me? I can write a biography essay about a Native American. Have we started that, Native American? Okay. I can use Google Classroom and Pebble Go. Where do you do that? On your computers. Very good. And you raise your hand, or I say do this, and you answer. Good job. The language goal. So this is when you are finished learning, how do you put the English together into a sentence? I can use past tense verbs. I can write in complete sentences. Think you can do that? Okay. Those are the objectives. The expectations are how to be a good student. Sixth period, you are very, very good. Excellent, every day. Fantastic, delightful, magnificent, amazing, phenomenal. Okay, a quick grammar lesson. Uh oh, fifth period already gave you some answers. If our objective is I can use past tense verbs, right? Then we have is and was. But I want you to write more. Now I want to see your writing, your ideas. So I will say add three sentences. One sentence in the first paragraph, one sentence in the second paragraph, and one sentence in the third paragraph. Okay? Then I can see your writing. I can see if you are using past tense verbs, like our language goal. Remember? I can see what you know about Native Americans. That is our content goal. So when you get to revising, when you finish and you get to this part, you do tabs and then you add three more sentences. Okay. Give me your attention. Remember there are five things I want you to do when I say give me your attention or give me five. I want your eyes on me, the speaker. Your ears are listening. Your mouth is quiet. Your body is still. And your brain is focused. So thank you. Thank you, Sixth Grade. You're very good. So let's take one more look, one more look at our objectives. The content objective, I can write a biography about Native American. Did we do that today? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> Writing about Native Americans. Yes, we did. <laughs> I can use Google Classroom and Pebble Go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Did we write in past tense verbs? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we did. We wrote in past tense verbs. I can write in complete sentences. Excellent job. Thank you so much. What a wonderful job today. Go like this. Give yourself a pat on the back. Yay, good job. Clean up. Do your job. Sit down. Clean up. Clean up. Everybody clean up. It's time.